Good day, my dear students. I hope you're okay right now. Um, I hope you're smiling today uh, because it invites positivity. So, um, welcome. Welcome back to school. Welcome to academic year 2020-2021, the new normal way of teaching. So, we missed you a lot actually because um, we have not able to see you for several months. But um, we're praying that you're okay and will continue to be okay um, for the rest of our lives. Okay, so I will be introducing to you our course. So, soil science, uh, soil fertility conservation and management. So, under this new normal, um, you will actually, it will be quite difficult for us and challenging. It will be hard for us because some of you are complaining about the internet connectivity and other stuff. But then we are hoping that this learning will still continue to be okay, even though there are challenges that we will be um, facing along the way while learning, uh, while doing the new normal way of uh, teaching or instruction. So before we go to the, um, uh, before we go to the different lessons that we will have under this subject, so I want you to introduce the different requirements and other requirements that we need to comply to complete the the subject that you were you are going to undertake under my care. So so this orientation video is very important for you so that you will be guided on how are you going to do or what are you going to do under this course. So Um, the the course actually the title of the course that we have is soil fertility conservation and management so its code is SST2 so you cannot proceed to soil fertility conservation and management if you are not able to complete the SST1 or principles of soil science so you really have to undergo the principles of soil science to proceed to soil fertility conservation and management because this our base uh, SST1 is basic core, uh, course or subject so that you will be prepared to study soil fertility conservation and management. So for the course description, uh, the course will contain soil nutrient elements their availability, measurement, and evaluation, and then soil degradation and its control, and maintenance and improvement of soil fertility and productivity. So the course credit or unit for this um, subject, you have to undergo two hours lecture and three hours laboratory for, per week. So it is a three credit unit. So, um, we have the course outcome. So, after the end of the semester, so, the students are expected to appreciate the role of soil fertility and sustainable crop production. Relate soil behavior and properties with crop performance. Apply the theories of nutrient availability, mobility, and exchange of so in soils and between soils and lines. Relate factors enhancing soil erosion with soil properties. Assess and measure soil loss. Develop or design soil water conservation management strategies for a specific line. So if we are able to complete already the different lessons that will prepare you to develop or design soil water conservation and management, then I will be going to require you to do that. 
So it's very important that you have to learn it very well so that we, you will be able to develop or design soil water conservation management strategies. It's um, one of the uh, considerations that you have to complete uh, in this course. Okay, and then you have to integrate the knowledge on soil fertility with soil conservation and management. So both um, aspects because we will have two um, modules for this course. So one first module will be soil fertility management and the next module, the second module for this subject will be dealing with soil conservation and management. Okay, so for the criteria for grading, so we will be basing your grades on um, two aspects. So we will be uh, basing your grades for from the examination that you will have. So examination is 50% and project or output is 50% with a total of 100%. So final grade will be uh, based from the midterm which is 50% and final which is 50%. So for other requirements, actually I have three requirements for this course three important requirements. So I will um, be requiring you to have composting project at home. You will also have vegetable garden and you will also do um, pot experiment. So it's the three of this will be part of your laboratory activities. So uh, I wanted to highlight that because um, it's really important that you have to establish that at home. Why I am requiring that to you, uh, I am requiring that from you, it's because it's very important that as an agriculture student, you really have to have your own composting project at home. Um, I know some of you, uh, when we do have our face-to-face -face instruction in, uh, in school. Um, I can see that you have your, you can, you are complying your project, your composting project in school. You are also complying your vegetable garden in school, but we are not sure if you are also um, doing that at home. So in, that, in this case, the beauty of uh, having this you know, the benefit of having this at home is that you will be um, influencing your your family on how to do that and you will be influencing your family to, to love agriculture although they have sent you to an agricultural school and they wanted you to study agriculture but I know some of your your some of your parents or some of your, the family members of your uh, some of your family members are not really valuing agriculture. So when you do have these projects at home, so they will really appreciate, I'm sure, they will appreciate and will help you in doing that. So if they are uh, exposed in doing such activity, agriculture-related activity or farming-related activity, I'm sure they will love agriculture and they will learn how to produce their own food at home. So number one that I am going to require from you is that the, is the composting project. So the composting project um, should be graded based on the process, documentation, utilization. Why do I need to have you graded based on the process? Because I want to see if you are doing it right. I wanted to see if you are doing the, pro the, the composting project well and it is according to what we have, you have learned in other subjects or in the subject that we, we have previously. And 
I want you also to document that. I want to have your photo documentation. I also wanted to have your records or and your uh, description on the processes that you have done or the of the processes that you have done and um, what are the inputs that you have included for such composting project so it's very important and then another one utilization why I also base my grade uh, why I will also be basing my grade uh, from utilization it's because I want to see um, that your composting project is used in your vegetable project because both of the composting project and the vegetable project or vegetable garden are complementary so why are you going to have your composting project because you will use the compost in your an establishment or in the establishment of your vegetable garden so it's very important that um, that will be established in your backyards so it will have a total of 100 percent okay another one we have vegetable garden so as what I have mentioned a while ago um, it's very important that we grow our food at home most of the people or most of the population around the world are relying on um, the market in terms of the supply of vegetables fruits and others but mostly uh, the daily need that we have every day we need vegetables so if we grow our own vegetables at home we will not depend on the market what we are trying to to promote in this type of um, laboratory activity that we have because we would like you to influence your family members to grow your food at home do not depend on the market in terms of the supply of vegetables because we are not also sure that those um, vegetables that you're buying from the market is uh, free fan chemicals or not but if you grow your own vegetables if you know where it came from you're sure that it is healthy it is free from chemicals or toxins or pesticides so in that case if we grow our own vegetables at home we are sure that we that the food that we are eating are healthy free from chemicals and free from um, pesticides stuff like that and then um, I'd like you to, I will be grading the vegetable garden based on your establishment. So you really have to, to list down the activities that you had, when was that activity was conducted. So you, um, I forgot to mention that um, a while ago that you have to uh, put the dates as to when did you establish, uh, as to when did you conduct such activity. So establishment is 30%, then you have to record everything, you have to record your inputs, you have to record your activities, and then you have to document in terms of taking pictures, the activities that you have done. And then, so I would like also uh, to see uh, that you utilized the, um, the vegetable garden. Um, I want you to I want you to document that you have consumed the food and that you have sold the, the vegetables in the market if you have excess. No? So it's very important that you have utilization. So we have uh, establishment will be 30%, record keeping uh, will, or documentation will be 30%, and then for utilization it will be 40% with a total of 100 percent so another one we have pot experiment so 
I want you to conduct a path experiment at home, but it is it's a the path experiment is very simple. We just have we only have um, four at least four treatments with in each treatment there will be five uh, samples and or you can have at least five you can make it ten if you want but uh, in doing the path experiment uh, I would like you to have it simple and there is no replication actually because it will uh, be hard for you to do that when there will be replication we will be just <coughs> be doing that um, later uh, when we go back to normal so for the part experiment I will be suggesting um, certain topic for you to choose or for you to to have guidance on how to do such and then the details of uh, making the part experiment will be discussed um, in the coming lessons that we will have so and actually in the pot experiment I would like you to to um, consider measuring the different growth parameters uh, I would like you to observe the different um, growth performance of the plant that you are going to choose for the pot experiment um, in this pot experiment I would like to I would like you to focus on biochar and lime if there is no lime in your locality or you have difficulty in looking for looking for lime but I think uh, Mabili, Mabini Limers uh, is close to Buena Vista so Buena Vista people can go there and buy lime or if others could not um, access lime so they can use biochar they can make biochar at home so it's very important that you will be doing that pot experiment because I want you to have observations at home uh, regarding the growth performance of uh, a certain crop um, based on the effect of the lime or biochar. So the establishment will also be graded so it will be 30% and then the record keeping or documentation will be 30% also. And then for the utilization, the utilization is 40%. Uh, what I meant about utilization is that I would like to see the result of your pet experiment. And I would like you to utilize the result in terms of your discussion. And why um, that result came into or became, uh, why is that certain result came out so you really have to explain that or you have to explain that during during your discussion and you have to cite um, certain article that will support your answers so um, if the articles are not available it will it, it still be okay but um, you will be added uh, you will be given more points if you have uh, cited uh, some articles supporting your claim or supporting your results okay it will have then a total of 100 percent so sample pa uh, sample part experiment uh, topic or title will be the effect of lining on the growth performance of uh, what type of crop are you going to use and then another one, another sample, effect of biochar application and the growth performance of a certain crop that you are going to choose also. So, but um, as to the topic, you can uh, consult me if you have uh, some topic that you will, um, you will, you have in mind. Uh, maybe you have some topics that you can, that you are going to propose. So, you are, uh, I am... Um, open for suggestions for those who have other topics in mind no so it's just an example for you so if there is 
if there are any questions about um, our subject, if you have um, some confusion about the different um, uh, discussion, uh, the different topic that I have um, delivered to you in in the classroom or in the modules, you may you uh, you are just feel free to contact me at my uh, telegram. So uh, the different uh, links are provided, but I think some of you are already in my telegram in the group of. Uh, BSA 3A and 3B uh, there are actually uh, most of the students uh, from 3A and B are already in the telegram but then in the classroom I only I have seen only very few but I am encouraging you all even though you are in a modular mode I am encouraging you to join my class um, because uh, if sometimes if you have uh, internet connectivity, if you can uh, load for for to to have your internet connectivity, so please do visit the classroom because there are video presentations regarding the lesson that you have seen in the modules. So uh, in that video presentation, I am discussing the lessons and explaining. The, the content of the module that we have so it's very important that sometimes it's very important that you can also access the videos that uh, I will be uploading in the classroom so although you are modular you are really very very welcome to to join the class because we can still identify who who are who among you are in modular mode or in online in the online class okay so always feel free to contact me don't be shy because I am uh, accommodating you all if ever you have questions if you have clarifications so anytime you can contact me so we will be making this um, new normal teaching enjoyable and comfortable for you um, because we really would like you to learn even under COVID-19 pandemic so don't forget to to always um, be guided by us so always consult with us so the telegram and the classroom is always open for you for the questions and clarifications that you need to be answered under my class. Okay, before I end this presentation, I just would like you to leave this verse, a very nice verse to consider and to, to memorize and to um, reflect every day. So, it's a Bible verse from Proverbs three or chapter three verses five to six trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding in all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths so which means we always have to trust in the lord with all our hearts and we should not lean on our own understanding which means we always have to ask God or to seek God to provide us guidance and wisdom as we live in this world and as we go our, along with our learning under this new normal way of teaching. So it's very uh, important for us to be prayerful because God is the owner of everything and God will always be providing us with our with the knowledge and wisdom that we need as we go along with our studies and our daily lives so thank you so much everyone enjoy uh, the new normal way of learning always stay safe and always be prayerful god bless and have a good day again to each of you thank you